So I'd be back in the UK for less than 24 hours and already we've made a hell of a mess. A long time ago I bought um, a replica RS6 diffuser, um, which is made of fiberglass and it's a bit crap, but we're modifying it so that we can fit it onto the bumper. You're not losing your mind, the bumper is upside down right now. We thought the fitment was actually really crap, but we got this for about 100 quid, so what's that, like uh, $150, something like that? It just fits into the existing runner, and we're just going to use Sikaflex Fast Cure on it. Once it's in position, it's going to have a pretty good finish on it. Um, and then we'll just put two screws in, up top. Mission one, rear diffuser for the Audi, and then clear up this mess. We're just going to run an air line through the gap here, just make sure there's no debris. I'm coming to the workshop and Dave has put it on two workbenches at a 45 degree angle, because he is a clever bastard, which allows us to have it level, but an indoor, well lit, dry space. I'm just going to mask off the red painted section of the bumper, because otherwise this Sikaflex will never come off. <laughs> Oh god, it's thick. That's what she said. Wow, that might be too much. Never. We just learned that the guys who use this stuff on windscreens use a battery operated version because this one is causing Big Dave to have a brain hemorrhage at sort. Look at the, the forearms. Just pressing all the edges up, try and get it flush with the original bumper. Right, so we have now got a lung full of thinners. It's uh, now curing, which might take up to four days. Um, hand under the light, what have we learned? Uh, gloves are uh, something. So we've now got the uh, diffuser on. We have gubbed it in uh, Sikaflex on the underside as well. Um, we've got two of these, but we're not going to do them with ghetto screws, we're going to do them with uh, welding. So we are just going to uh, chop off uh, an end section of the tailpipe, because at the moment there's this horrible fucking black thing there, so we're going to get rid of that. Um, and Dave is going to do that using, well, like the most expensive reciprocating saw I've ever seen. We've had this curing on the car overnight for about 12 hours. The, the, the fit on it is absolutely solid. We're really happy with it. We even managed to keep a hold of the bumper, the, the tow bar bracket, but we painted it up with some plastic dip. Um, this car is now going to do a 5,000 mile road trip down to Italy. So hit subscribe, hit like if you like what we're doing, and uh, more videos to come.